I'm Jim Boak. I'm here with Mark Van Veen in Salford Assembly Plant 2. We're looking at the I-2100 Independent Series I-2100 tool and we're going to take, take you on a walk around, take a close look at the features of this machine as a, a seating machine, residue management machine and a fertilizer applicator. So we'll start here with a look at the coil on the I-2100 model. It's an inch and five-eighths coil, which is uh, approximately 60% stronger than the I-1100 inch and a quarter coil. This is not a replacement for the I-1100. This is simply a heavier model for tighter soils and, and an expanded range of applications. The, the I-2100 performs just as well in wet or dry conditions as the I-1100. So we, we don't want you to think that, that your I-1100 isn't a good tool. It's just simply a different tool for perhaps lighter soils, different applications such as uh, more of a no-till application than a tillage application. The hub on this I-2100 is a five inch hub. It's a cup and cone bearing. We use five bolts. The colder configuration itself is a 13 flute or an eight flute. Uh, both are available as standard. The uh, inch and a, or, or the 13 flute rather, is approximately an inch and uh, a half wide as, as a cut, and the eight flute approximately two and a quarter inches wide. So the next feature we want to look at on the I-2100 series is the hydraulic shank system. This shank is um, uh, capable of carrying both and hydrous knives and chisel point knives. So it's a combination fertilizer applicator as well as a tillage tool. And there's even knives available or, or uh, boots available for putting down dry and liquid fertilizer. So in a sense, it could be a complete uh, fertilizer package. I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that the colder runs directly in front of the shank, but with lots of space in between the back and the colder and the shank, so we don't have any issues with plugging with material jamming in between the shank and the back of the colder. This, this shank is protected by an active down pressure system. We're able to dial that in anywhere from 300 pounds up to 1,350 pounds, depending on the conditions you're operating in, the presence of stones, rocks, obstacles. Uh, so if you're in a very rocky situation and you need extra protection, you can dial that pressure back maybe to 600 pounds so you're tripping rather than breaking shear pins. The hydraulic cylinders are uh, use nitrided shafts. We've been using that for a number of years now. It prevents rust and corrosion on the uh, lower part of the shaft. That's important when you're working with fertilizer materials. The, the shanks are fully down in operating position or fully up. Uh, there's, there's no halfway in between on the system. It's either fully engaged or, or uh, fully raised. So one final important point is on the adjustability of this shank to give us uh, an operating depth range of four to eight inches, is we have uh, three positions that that shank can be mounted in. So if you're applying your product, say at four inches deep, you would use the top setting. If you want to get down to eight inches deep, you could use the, the lower setting. And this enables uh, a producer to operate in not only different applications in terms of, you know, his fertilizer program or his tillage program, but also gives them the flexibility in different soil types to be able to match the machine to, you know, not only the soil type, but the uh, application of the machine itself. The Salford Independent Series are a very versatile tool. Not only can they uh, do tillage and condition residue, but they're also designed to, be, to handle a number of tools, including uh, fertilizer and seed application uh, tools. Uh, here we have a broadcast kit on the front of an I-2100. Um, it is designed to spread broadcast spread either a fertilizer or a cover crop or potentially small seeds such as alfalfa or uh, canola. Um, it has a scatter plate, not much on, different than any other type of fertilizer system. What happens is, is that it's fed through these tubes and, and then is incorporated with the, uh, the coulters and potentially knives 
and or the Harrow system on the back, depending on how you set the system up. Uh, we have numerous producers that are putting down their nitrogen fertilizer in front of corn planter systems with this, spreading it out, doing the residue incorporation, warming the ground up, and doing fertilizer at the same time. There's a number of uh, ways you can feed this. Um, it can be done with a, an air cart, either a tow between or a tow behind air cart, and fed through a tower system or also Valmar makes a kit that can be mounted on the front. The uh, air kits are very gentle. They're designed to go up through a tower, spread evenly through the hoses, spread evenly through the bottom. The caps on the towers are very, very flexible, so they're very gentle on seed and on uh, fertilizer. It doesn't stick or gum up or handle it. It allows also, because of the, uh, the, the rib in the middle here, to be very, very accurate. The spread across the entire system is very, very even. Another option that is available on the uh, independent series is a, is a seating boot to go behind the rolling coulter on the, uh, on the RTS. What happens is, is as the coulter is running through the ground, it leaves a trench that's about this long open and behind it. And before it collapses, what we do is we blow seed and or fertilizer, depending on the application, into the trench and then it is backfilled, the, the dirt falls on top of it and the harrow's backfill. Um, these can be fed with a number of different hoses. Uh, we have one inch hose, one and a half inch hose, and they're fed from a tower. Once again, you can feed them with a, a tow between or a tow behind air cart, or a smaller unit if you wish, such as a Valmar that would be mounted on top of the machine. The uh, big application would be strip banding a fertilizer on seven inch centers, or potentially 14 or 21 inch centers, depending on what you want with dry fertilizer. Or the other option is uh, seeding wheat. These tools work very, very well for seeding fall wheat. They're blown into the trench and then incorporated nicely. There's numerous producers using it as a multi-purpose tool for that, uh, that reason. One of the secret weapons on the independent series is the finishing tools that are on the back. The tine harrows and the rolling basket. 14-inch um, rolling basket that the tine harrows move in level soil and residue. The problem that a lot of manufacturers have with their tine harrows is that they tend to bunch and leave lumps, or what we call beaver houses, in the field. We have managed to develop the harrows that they do not do that. What they have is two holes here for the parallel arms. If the bar is in this hole, the tine sheet sits flat. If it's mounted in the hole that it's in, the front of this, the, uh, the tine harrows is actually higher than the back by about roughly half an inch. So there's more tension on the back than the front. The other secret weapon is this bar that adjusts the rake angle. There's two sets of holes. With one set, the tine harrows, when you adjust them, go together. On the setting that it's in now, the front tines actually go back further than the back tines. So once again, there's more tension on the back than the front. So when it's in the field, instead of the residue stopping here and then feeding out as a beaver house, it actually stops right about here. And as the tine is running, all the residue is right here and the rolling basket pulls it out of the tines and feeds it through. As the residue is going through the rolling basket, it actually crimps it. It crushes it much like a hay conditioner. So everywhere where this bar hits the residue, it crimps the residue and allows it to rot and deteriorate. So you can have a lot of action on the front with loose soil and then do a nice finishing job where you level soil, move residue and condition residue all on the back end of the machine. So we've had a look at the features of the independent series I-2100 tool and its capabilities in seeding, fertilizer application, tillage and residue management. If you would like more information on uh, building your soil productivity, uh, please visit our local dealers or, or your local dealer and look up information on our website at uh, salfordmachine.com.